How cliche. Sheeple. Bah, just sheeple following the mainstream media. Calling people sheeple has become so common that it's trite and it's lost all meaning. But why did this idea of people as sheep, why does this resonate so well? Well, how do sheep exist in relation to humans? Sheep are typically farmed for their wool and uh, maybe for, for their meat, but mainly for their wool. Sheep naturally avoid conflict. Sheep are kept in line by not much, typically a dog and a human, or some of each. And most sheep will stay in line and follow the herd. But if a few sheep go out into an area, the dog can bark and or bite and uh, typically frighten the sheep to get back in line. Perhaps a single dog could take a single sheep, but what about two sheep or ten sheep? It's quite obvious to humans that if all the sheep rush the dog and the human at the same time, they would be crushed. And so the sheep are kept in line not by force, although force is barked at the fringes and occasionally even used, but by ideology. Yes, sheep ideology that the dog and the human protect the sheep and are in fact more powerful than the sheep. And you know where I'm going with this, so I won't insult your intelligence by dragging this analogy out. Various state agents bark out orders and threats for non-compliance, and cops slash domestic troops will occasionally bite. But to maintain order with humans requires a far more sophisticated control mechanism than the rancher and his dog. What's more is that the state is made up of other humans who are no more capable than the humans they profess to manage whereas both the dog and the human are significantly more intelligent than the sheep. As I've stated before, I believe parental authority is projected onto the state. At first, parental authority is projected onto a god or a goddess, uh, the giver of life as far as man is concerned, who has always existed, is all-powerful and all-knowing, just like mommy. And when the parents-slash-gods fight, it is very terrifying for the child-slash-man. The first states were religious, then the justifications for the state became secularized as people became uh, sophisticated to these appeals to God. Public education further extenuates this projection of parental authority onto the state as uh, submitting to the state, submitting to the teacher, becomes synonymous with submitting to the parent. You know, the parent wants the child to get good grades when he goes to the government education camps. And just as God wanted you to be his lamb, the state wants you to be a sheep. Not a ram, not a devil, not an anarchist, not a Satanist. Humans rule over the animals, uh, the state rules over humans. And the state emerged from human interaction and evolution of human organization, the same way humans emerged from animal interaction and animal evolution. Archons, that is, entities that deny uh, the free market, emerge from the free market. Archons, entities, they deny the free market and try to control things in a way uh, not based on the interaction of its individual elements. Humans emerged from the free market of life and now attempt to control it through agriculture. Agriculture is bad for all non-human life on the aggregate, although can be beneficial for the class of animals whose life is promoted at the expense of wildlife. And this, this uh, special class of animals could be uh, you know, cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens. The state is bad for humanity in general, except for the political class, that is, people who, who use the state to promote their economic well-being at the expense of other humans. In the same way, cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens, I guess you could call, are the humanist class of animals. As a human, my existence rests on being able to maintain Arkham status over other forms of life. I oppose the state ruling over me the same way all life should oppose humans ruling over all life. The difference is that the state is not as easy to identify and what's more is that while the farmer understands this dynamic with his animals, people within the state, on the whole, don't even know that they're archons or that they're partially archons. They think that they're just providing a good service. They don't recognize that humans within the state are behaving as archons over other humans in the same way humans behave as archons over other animals. 
I'm tempted to say that the state is an entity itself which forms from humans the same way a cell forms from smaller components. And this state behaves deterministically, like an organism, and it seems odd to us to call the state an organism, but, but it is, it, and its component parts, us humans, haven't a clue what's going on except a few. And the reason us humans can identify, some humans can identify the true nature of the state, while a sheep cannot identify the true nature of the rancher and the sheepdog, is because the individual human brain is more complicated than the state. And by that I mean the relation between humans that make up the state are less complex than the human brains themselves. And this state is very, very queer. It is an archon that is less complex than that which it rules over. And so while the sheep are just so goddamn stupid they can be fooled into compliance, the state requires its humans to positively support it. That is, the ruled must fundamentally want to be ruled. And of course they do want to be ruled by the state because humans project parental authority onto the state. The state itself achieves its existence not by fooling the humans itself, as an organism as retarded as the state can't do that, but by humans fooling themselves and each other to submit to this organism, the state.